Hello everyone, in this video, we'll be showing you, 10 things you should silently eliminate from your life. Share your thoughts on each topic and stick around until the end of the video. The next few moments are your chance to understand yourself better. We believe that the lessons we'll share will enlighten and change your life. Let's get started. 1. People who hurt you. When dealing with people who hurt us, there's no need to explain ourselves to those who cause us pain. There's no need to complain, argue, or confront them about their bad attitude. If someone has made decisions that disrespected you and hurt you, even if it was someone you considered a perfect friend, it's best to move on without seeking justifications. Stay calm and rational, focusing on your own growth. There may be a time when this person needs you and seeks your support. At that moment, simply saying, no, is enough. And if you need to explain your reasons, don't, because the person knows what they did to lose you. So, there's no need to get into conflicts or fights. The best path is to silently remove this person from your life, as time will show the consequences of their actions. Focus on taking care of yourself and let the future reveal what's best for both of you. When we allow ourselves to move on without the need to explain or justify our choices, we are showing profound respect for ourselves and our boundaries. If this person failed to show character and broke your trust, you're not obligated to help them. It's important to remember that we are not obligated to associate with people who hurt us or don't value us. Each of us deserves to be treated with respect and appreciated for who we truly are. Therefore, by choosing to silently remove those who hurt us from our lives, we're making a courageous decision for our emotional well-being and personal growth, allowing us to move forward towards a more authentic and fulfilling life. 2. Unnecessary Goals There will be times when you realize the importance of making choices, acting in a certain way, or staying true to your own path. Sometimes, you'll need to abandon certain goals to prioritize the path that aligns most with your essence. It's completely normal for this to happen, because we don't always achieve everything we plan, and sometimes it's necessary to give up some things in favor of others. However, it's important to silently eliminate these unnecessary goals without broadcasting your actions to the world. Don't leave clues or loose information, as this can reveal your main strategy. Be smarter in this process, silently removing less important goals and making gradual changes in your life. As the cards are revealed on the table, always proceed with discretion, protecting your plans and allowing your decisions to be guided by authenticity, seeking the path that is most aligned with who you are. 3. Periods of Tension during periods of tension, avoid raising your voice in front of others and control your demonstration of excessive frustration or anger. If you're upset, redirect that feeling towards actions that produce beneficial results. For example, exercise, running, walking, something that takes you out of the situation you're living in at that moment. Use this energy as a driving force to advance your life goals and train your body to deal with stress. Contain your emotions, reflect on them, and redirect the accumulated energy to something that strengthens you. However, proceed with caution and discretion, because losing control can expose vulnerabilities during tense moments. Seek to dissipate this tension discreetly, resolving problems, fulfilling responsibilities, and using reason as your ally. Avoid publicizing your difficulties. Instead, appreciate what and who is already in your life, cultivating gratitude. Find a way to silently relieve emotional pressure, seeking inner balance and healthier approaches to facing challenges. 4. Judgments. Avoid sharing your judgments about other people with others. In fact, you shouldn't even harbor such opinions in your conscience. Seriously consider what image you're projecting when you speak badly about someone. You could have an interesting dialogue or enrich the conversation, but instead, you choose to spoil the mood just to vent your negativity about that person. 
Please, don't do that. Don't go around declaring who you like or dislike. Learn to be diplomatic. If you don't like someone, it's possible to distance yourself from them or try to maintain a tolerable coexistence. And always act intelligently. If there's a problem with this person, try to talk, dialogue, and seek a consensus. However, those opinions and judgments you have about others should be immediately discarded. As mentioned before, no matter if you like or dislike someone, always act diplomatically, showing yourself capable of adapting to the environment, changing, and interacting, regardless of differences with other people. Maintain a respectful and empathetic stance in your interactions. This will contribute to a more harmonious environment and healthier relationships with others. If you've come this far, please leave a comment to show you're truly seeking change. Go ahead, leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. Let's continue. 5. Comparison. Avoid constantly comparing yourself to others. Everyone has their own path, achievements, and successes that should be valued without reference to others. The harmful habit of comparing our lives to those of others can negatively impact our emotional well-being and hinder our personal growth. Additionally, it diminishes our self-esteem, as we risk falling into the trap of unfavorable comparison, focusing on what we think is missing, instead of recognizing our own strengths and accomplishments. When we constantly compare ourselves to others, we lose sight of our own goals and desires. We distract ourselves from what really matters and focus on what we think we should have or achieve based on the standards of others. This prevents us from moving forward on our own journey and achieving our individual goals. By eliminating comparison, we can cultivate gratitude for our own circumstances and celebrate our own progress and growth. Remember that everyone has their own path and individual circumstances, and comparing yourself to others is neither fair nor healthy. Each of us has different strengths, challenges, and paths in life. Instead of comparing ourselves to others, it's more productive to focus on our own learning and personal development. 6. Conscious Use of Social Media Imagine for a moment that your life is a book filled with fascinating stories, lessons, and adventures. Now, think of social media as a library where millions of other stories are shared every second. Exciting, right? But that's where a subtle danger lies. Constant comparison. As we browse the bright pages of these digital stories, we often find ourselves comparing our most challenging chapters with the highlight moments of others. This comparison, often unfair and unrealistic, can lead us to a cycle of dissatisfaction and envy. With that in mind, it's essential to learn to limit our consumption of these digital stories. Imagine deciding to visit this digital library with a clear purpose. You enter, look for exactly what you need, whether it's connection, inspiration, or information, and then you leave, returning to the reality of your own book, the book of your life. But how can we do this in practice? Start by setting specific times of the day to check your social media, instead of getting lost in it all the time. Whether it's during breakfast, a break at work, or at the end of the day. This helps create a structure that prevents social media from dominating your time and your thoughts. Another effective strategy is to question the intention behind each online interaction. Ask yourself, am I seeking something constructive here, or just killing time? This reflection can help differentiate productive use from passive, aimless consumption. Additionally, it's crucial to recognize the signs that social media is negatively impacting your mood or self-esteem. If you feel down after using these platforms, it may be time to take a break. Use this time to reconnect with activities that bring joy and satisfaction in the real world, like reading a book, pursuing a hobby, or simply enjoying nature. By adopting these practices, you not only protect your mental health, but also rediscover the beauty of your own story, without the constant need to compare it to the stories of others. Remember that each of us has a unique path to take, full of ups and downs, triumphs, and challenges. And that's exactly what makes each story, 
including yours, so valuable and unique. And so, as we bid farewell to this topic, I invite you to reflect on how you can begin writing the next chapter of your story today, with less influence from the digital world and more focus on what really matters in your life. Embark on this journey of self-discovery and growth together. 7. Seeking external validation. We live in a world where, often, a person's value seems to be linked to the perceptions of others. But today, I invite you to explore the liberation that comes from breaking free from this incessant pursuit of validation. Imagine yourself on a stage under the spotlight, surrounded by a crowd of expectant faces, each with an opinion on how you should act, speak, and be. Can you see how suffocating that can be? Now, visualize yourself leaving that stage and entering a quiet, serene space, a place where the only opinion that really matters is your own. This metaphor illustrates the importance of recognizing and valuing your own inner voice above the external noise. When we base our actions and decisions on the pursuit of validation, we stray from who we truly are and what we truly deserve and desire. It's like constantly trying to wear a garment that doesn't fit, just to please others. Now, think about the times when you felt most fulfilled and satisfied. They were probably moments when you were aligned with your own values and beliefs, regardless of what others thought or expected. That's the essence of living authentically. But how can we practice this in our daily lives? It starts with small steps. For example, the next time you're about to make a decision, ask yourself, am I doing this because I really want to or because it's what others expect of me? Learn to trust your intuition and recognize your own wants and needs. Another powerful practice is to strengthen your self-esteem. Appreciate your qualities, celebrate your achievements, and learn from your mistakes. Remember that self-acceptance is an ongoing process and every small victory counts. And finally, cultivate relationships that support you and encourage you to be the best version of yourself. Surround yourself with people who respect your individuality and encourage you to express your true essence. By freeing ourselves from the need for external validation, we open the doors to a more authentic and rewarding path. It's a path that allows us to be the true protagonists of our lives, writing our own stories with the ink of authenticity and courage. And with that, we conclude this second topic, hoping that it will serve as an invitation to reflect on how you can live a more authentic life, true to yourself, away from the shadows of the approval of others. 8. Relationships and Discretion The way we handle our relationships, whether in friendships or love, is like mirrors that reflect various facets of our lives and bring experiences that shape who we are. But there's a fine line here, the line of privacy and discretion. Think of a relationship as a secret garden, a place where you nurture emotions, dreams, and special moments. This garden is sacred, a space that deserves respect and care. When a relationship ends, whether it's a friendship or a romance, it's natural to feel pain, confusion, and the need to process what happened. However, it's essential to remember that the details of this garden, of this shared story, belong only to you and the other person involved. By choosing not to disclose intimate details or reasons for the breakup, you not only preserve the dignity of both parties but also protect your own heart. Sharing this information with others can open doors to misunderstandings, judgments, and, worse, gossip. This doesn't contribute to healing, but rather, can prolong the pain and create a cycle of negativity. So, how can we deal with the end of a relationship in a healthy way? First, it's crucial to give yourself time and space to heal. Allow yourself to feel the emotions, but do it introspectively. If necessary, seek the support of a mental health professional, someone who can provide objective guidance and support. Second, cultivate the habit of personal reflection. Instead of seeking validation or external comfort, look inward. Ask yourself what you learned from this relationship and how you can use those lessons to grow. All relationships, even those that end, 
bring valuable lessons. Finally, remember that maintaining discretion and privacy is a sign of maturity and respect, not only for the other person, but also for yourself. As you close a chapter in your life, do it with grace and dignity, knowing that every experience prepares you for what's to come. And with that, we conclude this third point, hoping that it will shed light and perspective on how to deal with the end of relationships wisely and respectfully, maintaining the dignity and privacy that you and the other person deserve. 9. Unrealistic Expectations Now, we're entering a territory often overlooked in our daily interactions, but one that has a significant impact on our well-being and the relationships we cultivate. Unrealistic Expectations In this segment, we'll explore how choosing to distance ourselves from these behaviors can not only improve our mental state, but also enrich the quality of our relationships. Imagine your life as a great adventure across a vast ocean. Each expectation is like a sail on your boat, helping to propel you towards your dreams and goals. However, when these sails are too large, when our expectations become unrealistic, they can throw us off course, leading us into turbulent waters of disappointment and dissatisfaction. Unrealistic expectations are like maps that promise treasures that don't exist. They make us chase ideals of perfection in ourselves, in others, and in the situations we experience. But the question we should ask is, are these ideals really ours, or were they imposed by external influences, like society, culture, or even the media? To begin detaching yourself from these expectations, we first need to recognize them. This requires honesty and introspection. Ask yourself, do these expectations lift me up or weigh me down? Do they reflect who I really am and what I value? Are they in line with my essence? The next step is to practice acceptance. Acceptance of who you are, where you are in your journey, and the circumstances you cannot control. This doesn't mean giving up your dreams, but rather recognizing and appreciating the process of getting there, with all its imperfections and challenges. Additionally, it's crucial to learn to set realistic and achievable goals, goals that resonate with your true essence and not with an idealized image of success. This also involves celebrating the small victories along the way, recognizing that every step, no matter how small, is valuable progress. Finally, Remember that the journey is just as important as the destination. By relinquishing unrealistic expectations, you allow life to flow more naturally and serenely, opening up space for surprises and joys that could not be planned. And with that, we conclude this fourth point, hoping that it will inspire you to navigate life with sails adjusted to reality, appreciating the beauty of the journey, with all its twists, turns, and discoveries. 10. Gossip and Negativity Now, we're entering a territory often overlooked in our daily interactions, but one that has a significant impact on our well-being and the relationships we cultivate. Participating in Gossip and Spreading Negativity In this segment, we'll explore how choosing to distance ourselves from these behaviors can not only improve our mental state, but also enrich the quality of our relationships. Imagine each word we speak as a seed we plant in the garden of our lives and the lives of others. When we choose words of support, encouragement, and positivity, we plant seeds of kindness and understanding. On the other hand, when we engage in gossip or negative conversations, we're planting weeds of misunderstandings, distrust, and conflict. Participating in gossip may seem harmless or even a form of social connection, but in reality, it's a two-way street that leads to disrespect and devaluing others and ourselves. Additionally, by focusing on negativity, we fuel a mindset that obscures our ability to see the good and the positive around us. So, how can we steer away from this road and choose a more positive path? First, it's important to be aware of the conversations we participate in. When a dialogue starts to veer towards gossip or unnecessary criticism, try to gently change the subject or highlight something positive about the person or the situation in question. Additionally, 
Practice empathy before speaking or sharing something about someone. Ask yourself, would I like this to be said about me? This simple question can be a powerful guide to keeping our conversations respectful and constructive. Another important step is to cultivate a positive environment around you. Surround yourself with people who also value positivity and authenticity in interactions. Together, you can create a culture of mutual respect and support. Finally, remember that change begins with you. By choosing not to participate in gossip and negativity, you're not only protecting your own integrity, but also setting an example for others. By adopting these principles in our lives, we can cultivate a more positive, empathetic, and resilient mindset, contributing to more genuine personal growth and more meaningful interpersonal relationships. If you liked the video, subscribe to the channel, enable the bell to be notified of new videos, and of course, leave your like and comment. Enjoy your journey of wisdom. Stay with the Creator.